policies to ensure compliance of prevailing laws and national and international guidelines on care of the vulnerable patients. This covers the all patients admitted in the hospital. Responsibility lies on ward sister in charge nursing superintendent. Vulnerable group of patients who can who can't do the ideal activities of daily living. That is, the any patients above 65, unconscious patients, mentally challenged patients, physically challenged patients, bowel and bladder impaired patients, communication impaired patients, blood in scale more less than 60, and more say scale more than 25. The side rails of the bed are always placed upside in case of the vulnerable patient to prevent the fall. Safe transportation or shifting of the patient from bed to stretch a wheelchair and vice versa. The patient is accompanied by appropriate and trained attendant for the investigations, toilet and wherever necessary. The room and toilets without any locking system and bolts on the floor. Doors to be avoided patients getting locked inside. The floors are not slippery. These are kept dry to protect the patient from slipping or falling. Hospital has provided proper environment taking into account the vulnerable group. This includes the slopes and ramps with the railing of the disabled in the new building and newly renovated building. NTSP treatment on ramps for the elderly patients. Adequate training for the pediatric nurses staff for the care of the patients. Safety belts are mainly used on a stretcher and operation table to prevent the client from falling. To continuous observation of the general condition in first point, vital signs of the patients are monitored around the clock, frequent visits to the patient's room or bedside, proper temp pressure pulse and respiratory glass glaucoma scale levels of the consciousness are maintained and monitored. General physical care, personal hygiene to be maintained, mouth or back care should be provided, skin care and proper position to prevent bad source, diet and nutrition assist patient for the self-feeding, bowel and bladder care to be provided, medication and treatment are ordered by the doctors and prevention of the infections. For patients on sedation, all the protective measures should be taken as above. The light should be dim, no noise should be created and around, around the patient's room. Patient is observed by the duty nurse for the any change of the condition in the vital signs and general condition. These are the policy. In practical, you have to take care of the vulnerable patients from all needs of their. As we discussed, group of the vulnerable patients, especially elder patients, require more attention. When you are admitting the elder patient, you have to check following things. When elderly patients is, are admitted or vulnerable patients is admitted, you have to label that patient as the vulnerable, putting at the appropriate identity tag, that is yellow tag. Generally, all patients should have ID bands which is of white color, the yellow color ID band to be labeled and uh, placed on the patient who are the vulnerable group of the patient. And after placing that on at the time of admission, every you know, precaution should be taken care of. When you are taking care of the vulnerable patients, you have to ensure that the room in which or bed on which patient is placed should be appropriate for the vulnerable group of the patients. Vulnerable patient ko agar aapne bed pe lagla lita hai to side rails raised hone chahiye. Maine hospital mein round karke dekha hai ki bahut saare aise beds hai jiski side rails nahi hai. To jis bed ki side rails nahi hai, us bed pe specially vulnerable patient ko kabhi nahi rakhna. Vulnerable patient ko safe or safe us bed pe rakhna hai jis mein side rails hai. Jitne bhi individual rooms hai ya general wards hai, especially general wards jis mein multiple patients hai, shared wards hai, uske andar jo bathrooms hai, uske andar grab bars honi chahiye. 
बाथरूम का अंदर से बोल्टिंग या लॉकिंग का सिस्टम नहीं होना चाहिए कोई भी स्लिपिंग या स्कीडिंग का गुंजाइश नहीं होना चाहिए साफ सफाई का पूरा ध्यान रखना है गीला कम नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है तो ये ध्यान रखना है बाथरूम का बेड का और पर्स के ऊपर कोई गीलापन हो तो उस जगह से इस पेशेंट को नए गुजारे और प्रॉपर साइन बोर्ड यूज करें स्लिपरी सरफेस के लिए हर वार्ड में एक साइन बोर्ड जरूर होना चाहिए वेट सरफेस और स्लिपरी सरफेस वाला जिसकी वजह से आप उधर जो है साइन बोर्ड डिस्प्ले कर सके जिसके आने जाने वाले लोग सावधान हो सके ठीक है उसके अलावा आपको वर्नरेबल पेशेंट्स के लिए स्पेशली फॉल से रोकने के लिए जब आप ट्रांसपोर्ट करते हैं तो ट्रोली के ऊपर सेफ्टी बेल्ट है उसको यूज करना है बाकी सारी चीजें आपको अपने लेवल पे इंश्योर करनी है अगर कोई भी पर्सन लेट आया है तो वो हैंड रेज कर सकता है ताकि मैं इन चीजों को वापस से रिपीट कर सकू इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ें आपको वापस मैं बता रहा हूँ जो आपकी पॉलिसी का पार्ट है वो है साइड रेल्स ऑफ द बेड्स आर ऑलवेज प्लेस्ड अपसाइड सेफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट फ्रॉम द बेड टू स्ट्रेचर व्हील चेयर एंड वाइस वर्सा पेशेंट इज अकम्पनीड बाय द अप्रोप्रिएट एंड ट्रेन अटेंडेंट फॉर द इन्वेस्टिगेशन टॉयलेट एंड वेर एवर नेसेसरी द रूम एंड टॉयलेट विदाउट एनी लॉकिंग सिस्टम एंड बोल्स ऑन द डोर्स to avoid patients getting locked inside the floors are not this slippery these are kept dry to protect the patient from slipping and falling hospital has provided proper environment taking into account the vulnerable group this include slopes and ramps really as disabled patients or new building and renovated buildings and this kit treatment on ramps for the elderly patients adequate pre training for the pediatric nursing staff for the care of the children safety belts are mainly used for the stretcher and operation table to prevent the clients from falling and as well as wheelchairs ye aap screenshot le lijiye is slide ka protection wala jo points hai wo aapko ensure karna hai aur jo bhi vulnerable group ka patient hai uska id band hai yellow color ka id band lagana hai baki general patient ka jo id band hai वो व्हाइट कलर का होना चाहिए ठीक है थैंक यू आज के लिए इतना है